All month long, KPRC2 and our partners at Energy Transfer and Houston Christian University, along with our friends over at Telemundo, are participating in Clear the Shelters. The annual event is a nationwide pet adoption and donation campaign, and tomorrow is the biggest day of the month-long event to find forever homes for adoptable pets. Joining me this morning, Rick Becker with Telemundo Houston, our friend Macy Stays with Houston Humane Society, and this adorable pup, Roseanne. Good morning, Hi. cutie. How are you? Thank you guys for coming in this morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. We appreciate your time. I know, Rick, this is something that's near and dear to our hearts at NBC and Telemundo. Uh, the importance of this event. I mean, so this is our, our ninth year with the initiative. Um, it basically it educates our viewers about um, the importance of adopting um, instead of um, shopping and helping to empty out the, the shelters. Um, the summertime, they're notoriously overcrowded with pet populations. And so with this initiative, we partner with area shelters and rescue groups to get as many um, pets adopted into loving forever homes as possible. And Humane Society has been um, on board with us from the beginning yeah. and one of our biggest partners. We've got 46 partner um, shelters or rescue groups um, with adoption events at 54 locations. So it's all on our, both of our websites, on KPRC's website, as well as TelemundoHouston.com. It's an amazing effort. It's an effort that makes a huge difference in our community. Uh, we know there's a crisis going on right now, and this heat, yeah. this extreme mm -hmm. heat, is only adding to the crisis. Right. Um, so just typically in you know Texas in general, because we do have a warmer climate, breeding seasons can last year round, mm -hmm. which puts us in a bad spot to begin with. But with this super, super intense triple digit heat, like this has been unprecedented. We are currently at capacity at the Houston Humane Society. We actually just took in 21 cats from Alvin Animal Shelter yeah, because their AC game. completely went out. Yeah. So they can't house animals with this triple digit mm -hmm. heat with absolutely no air conditioning. So we were able to take in cats, um, but basically we're saying like, if you've ever thought about it, yeah. a spare bathroom can save a life. And we say that because when you take another animal or from our shelter, we can take another one in. Yeah. And so it's not just one animal that you're Helping. It's two or however many you decide to take. <laughs> and listen, adoption is the goal here, but there are so many ways people can help out uh, if they're not able to adopt. Yeah, absolutely. So while we would love all of our animals to go straight into their forever homes, maybe bypass that foster step, um, sometimes it's just not possible. And what we're seeing is a downturn in adoptions. Thankfully, Clear the Shelters has really helped us this month with you know taking that power back and really telling people that now is a great time to adopt because our um, adoption fees, 50% off on all pets. If a pet has been at the shelter for more than three months, that is a a fee waived adoption fee. Um, so absolutely zero dollars to take home your furry best friend. And these prices, these amounts, these are, are these applicable to all shelters participating in Clear the Shelters? Um, I know that for us, that is our current promotion, but other shelters might have a different. Yeah, so each shelter has their own. Um, some of them are offering um, completely free um, mm -hmm. adoptions. Others have like dis deeply discounted or yeah. certain animals are deeply discounted. And all the information is like, we have links to all the different partner shelters on our websites <laughs> and it has all their information as far as what they're specials are but um, oh. for Houston we're at in the nine years of the campaign we're at 30 uh, 33,000 wow. adoptive animals so it's pretty awesome it's a huge impact oh, yeah and we couldn't do it obviously without you know Cape Percy is NBC's largest affiliate yeah um, and we just appreciate the partnership it's a huge impact but there's still so much more work to be done oh, yeah gosh, for yeah. people interested in this final push this weekend this has been going on all month long but really this weekend this is it mm -hmm. uh, where can they go to to participate we would love to have them come down tomorrow Tomorrow, uh, between 11 and 5:30 p.m. Um, at Houston Humane Society 14700 Alameda Road, um, you can come hang out with us at our big adoption event. So it's our Clue the Shelter Standout Weekend. Um, we are going to have so many different vendors there: sweet treats. We have Aww. a balloon garland to come take some cute pictures with your new furry friend. Every adoption comes with a free adoption goodie bag, including dog food um, and you, some Hills. other. <laughs> yeah, of course. Thank you, Hills, um, and some really cute bandanas and you know come down even if you're not looking to adopt it would definitely help if you come down and maybe go live from the shelter or yeah. take some photos and post them on your Instagram yeah. or Facebook story and tag us yes um, that's definitely helpful use the tools in our toolbox yeah right. 
Um, okay, this girl has been so patient. Right? So Tell us her? about Roseanne. Roseanne is a sweetheart. Oh, she's a beagle mix. Face. She's about two years old, and she's so oh, wow. fun. She went to Astro's Dog Day uh, this past weekend and got to hang out at Minimade Park with some friends who are a lot bigger than her and a lot smaller. Uh, and she did great with everyone. Played well with everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have no idea how she hasn't gotten adopted how yet. How old? She's two. She's two. Mm -hmm. She's two. And she is so, so sweet. She can sit here all pretty and be nice and sweet, but she also loves to play. Yeah, and I'm sure she loves to run, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. She likes that space, that freedom. Yeah, and she's a beagle, so she does like to tell you how she's feeling. But um, <laughs> She tells a lot of stories. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're, we're in the storytelling business, Roseanne. <laughs> that's right. So keep those stories coming. Well, thank you both for stopping by. You know, this is, this is an initiative so near and dear to my heart and mm -hmm. near to your heart. Absolutely. And, and Macy, I know you preach this every single day. Yes. So, um, <laughs> we, we so much appreciate your time.